Adam Morrison, a true freshman out of Spokane, getting a start in his collegiate debut. He wears number three. The lefty West knocks it down. A deep three for the... Originally from Martinique, but only started playing basketball five years ago. He's played at the National Institute in France, and he's getting his first action now after just practicing yesterday, coming back from a stress fracture. Now a steal by Nelson after the bucket, and a quick four-point turnaround for the Hawks. I said he can put points on the board quickly. He's very... There goes Nelson. Look at Nelson. Great anticipation. Then he backs away, squares his body. Nothing but Nylon, the All-American. I'm telling you, he will be a candidate for National Player of the Year. Here at Gonzaga, despite some open open looks here tonight, not shooting the ball well early. I tell you, Marley is a terrific defender. He may be the best perimeter defensive player in the Atlantic 10. As you watch Nelson with that little fadeaway, he's got the transfer from the University of Washington, and Blake Step is hurt. As you can see him limping and cringing on his way back down the floor. Baseline jumper for Jeff. Following Knight's miss. Knight gives him a kind of an athlete at Gonzaga they haven't had in the past. West with a miss. Step with a rebound. Going for the home run, and it's picked off by Nelson. Great anticipation by Nelson. Look at a little shake of bass. Are you serious? Oh, everything but the finish for Jameer Nelson had the St. Joe's fans on their feet. Alone underneath the basket is Knight, but he's blocked by Bryant. Knight rotates over, got the starting role. He won the starting role, according to Phil Martelli. Nelson oh, yeah. the three. He is super, my friends. That kid is the to cheer for. I, so much to get excited about. I want to speak on behalf of the fans in Spokane. You have got to go to the kennel to do a game someday. <laughs> I know. Put it on your schedule. Body, but he said he seems to deal with it quite well. That's something that he's probably learned to deal with more than those around him as Barley gets free and knocked right down to the final second. And in the case of last year's game, into overtime and down to the final second. A country. West. Off to Nelson. Look at all the moves that he makes. <laughs> and he shot. finds Dakitis, who misses the jumper. There's Nelson with a rebound. Well, at 5'11", look at the things that Jameer Nelson is making happen. His vision is rebounding. Step no. Nelson, another rebound. Heads up all the time on dribbling that ball. Heads up. Jameer Nelson with six rebounds and giving him an assist right there on the bucket by West. And there's the combination. And then here comes St. Joe's. You know, it's really amazing. A kid like Morrison, not bashful. Here he is making his debut as a collegiate. Nelson somehow finds West. The three is there, and it's a one-point game. There's that. And now they're starting to get it together, get that rhythm. Step with a nice speed to Skinner, and there's another block by Dwayne Jones. I mean, he may block 10 shots here tonight. Nelson, the floater won't go, but he draws the foul. Backcourt play by the Hawks. Well, you take a look at West with a reverse layup. He had back-to-back -back games last year, putting 30 on the board. And there's the little dash. He goes to his buddy. He says, shoot it, knock it down, Mr. West. What music they made. Nelson and West. As good as Simon and Garfunkel <laughs> to the people in Hawk Hill. Atlantic 10 had block shots last year at about two a game. Twice, my buddy absolutely loves him. For many years from now. Well, he would not have been a guarantee coming into the game, but then in the game, you see that speed has just as many advantages. Well, speed and ability to shoot the ball. Carroll certainly has not been able to get any looks at all. And that really hurts St. Joe's. He's such an outstanding shooter. What a drive. First half was one for seven. And we haven't seen this team, as Mark Few said, their team has not been together. They've had so many injuries. West with a steal. Look ahead to Carroll. And just like that, the Hawks have tied the game. As Mark Few says, all he does is score. You just can't find a way to stop him because he can score in so many different ways. West. Carroll, quick trigger. Wanted to use the foot speed, the dribble drive to set up some scoring well, chances. Well, dribble drive, but utilize the screen really well to get down that lane. By Violet to cut him off on the baseline. Gotta get some screens for Carroll. Nice. Nice play. I mean, are you kidding me? Created by the all common set of sin. Right now, a little shake and bake, get in the lane. Mr. Nelson dishes the rock. And there's the but I think these two programs can really relate to one. Oh, I think there's tremendous respect. There's no doubt about it. Hey, they ran this play once in the first half. Better recovery by St. Joe's to snuff it out here in the second half. Turion might have gotten away with a walk. Step for three. And another rebound for Nelson. Look at the little guy go get it. I'll tell you, they need that jump shot to start the fall for Step. 
Sixth rebound for Nelson to go with a dozen points and seven assists. They're going to be a different basketball team when they get a healthy Tory off. He gets into the rhythm, starts practicing. Remember, he's only been with them for one day. Yep. And Tony Skinner has had a bad knee in the preseason. Earl Knight missed some time with a bad ankle. The Zags are not a fully healthy team. Nelson steps in. It won't go down, but the offensive rebound frees up West for a good walk. They went into a zone, 2-3, matchup. Tough to zone this club with the shooters they have in West. Carroll and Nelson very funny inside. Good rebound, kick the ball out. Pat Carroll with the rebound, and West knocks down the three. He's got that poise. Martelli going in right now, fourth winner as a coach at St. Joe's. The leader, Bill Ferguson, with 309 wins. Dr. Jack Ramsey with 234, Jim Boyle 151, and Mr. Martelli has 149. Carroll with a good look. He can shoot it. He can flat out shoot the rock. You give him AD to find AD, that may be 6,000. That's the kick out. By Nelson again. Yes, sir. Nelson creates it. His penetration ability leads to the opportunities. Oh, look at that flag. I'm going to run around with that flag. They're turning Madison Square Garden into their own home court here. And so far tonight, you can't go in for me to buy after the game for you. Trying to stroke me here. But there is right now the kick out. I'm going to tell you, West and Carroll making threes, Dan, certainly is big. But it's all been created by the unbelievable penetration ability of West. Drive them, you beat them, and you turn them. <laughs> you drive them to a spot, you beat them, and you turn them. Well, again, the superior quickness of St. Joseph's making it very difficult for the Zags to get the ball up. Jameer Nelson, are you kidding me? Are you serious how good this kid is? I may revamp my first team All-American. The outstanding point guard in Notre Dame is his first team All-American point guard. Look at Nelson again. Oh, what a look inside. And he got it back. Got the ball on a string right now. Look at the wow. spin. Wow. Wow. Oh. Oh, is he a pleasure to watch? Farley. To see, get your tickets early. Hey, everybody, get your tickets early in Philadelphia. Line up to see the Jameer Nelson show, and it will not be a circus, it will be basketball at its best level. He is for real. I'm sorry, Chris Thomas, I may change my All American team. <laughs> oh, you're gonna have to be good, Mr. Thomas, to be better than Mr. Nelson. Unbelievable. How does he know there's a guy there? I mean, he's surprising teammates with his passes, and they're right on the money. You know, I have not seen him in person. This is the first time. I'm telling you, why couldn't my bosses send me to Philadelphia to see this kid? <laughs> Kansas State battling Purdue at 5 o'clock. The State Farm tip-off classic on ESPN2. Are you kidding? Look at that drive right there. Look at that. I watch this play right here. Look at the spin. Beautiful spin along the baseline, uses the left hand. Get invited to this tournament, and he's well, right about that. Well, he is right about that. You know, he sees the kid every day, but obviously, you know, he's a little biased. Sure, if you talk to people across America that have great, great players, they're going to think that their kid is the yep, best. Yep. And out of Connecticut, they love Mr. Oakley. How about Delonte Webb? I look at him right here. He's going to use the screen. Freeze it right here. See him use that screen? He's going to use that screen right now. And he's going to beat the defender with a little one-on-one. -on -one. It takes it right to the goal with the left hand and converts. I'm going to tell you, it's going to be tough. They need a couple of stops. Remember that Gonzaga won on a last-second shot just about on St. Joseph's floor two years ago. West again. St. Joe's went out and won in overtime. The backcourt for the Hawks lighting up the Zags right now here in New York City. 66-55, St. Joe's, a 15-point turnaround here in the second half, thanks to Nelson and West. About it, still a five-point game, St. Joe's with the lead and the ball. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, oh and call that, baby! Which of the country? Well, oh, there's no doubt it's one of the premier backcourts, and it starts with the little guy, Jameer Nelson. His penetration ability, his ability to innovate, but it's more than Mr. Nelson. Mr. West, his partner, can play as well. He has great scoring ability, Delonte West. And we're going to watch him right now with a little reverse lines. Another season is upon us. The beauty of the NCAA. The best sporting event of it. And I'm not taking anything away from St. Joe's. Conference games against Georgia, Maryland, Missouri, Missouri Stanford, and Tulsa, among others. 
Don't forget the preseason NIT begins next week as Violet buries about a 38-footer. You know, St. Joe's is going to play in that Pete Newell Classic as yeah. well with Cal. That's an outstanding classic out there. Jeff Fellinger and his guys do a great job with it. How about that? Think Jameer Nelson is happy he came back for one more year at college right now. 20 points, 10 assists, and 8 rebounds.